Hi, Plotter Pals. My name is Travis Crokin, author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today, I'm excited to share with you some of the newest features that come with the latest update of Plotter, perhaps creating the fastest version that we have seen yet. These new features include the ability to duplicate scene cards, to copy scene cards from book to book, to title a project from your dashboard as soon as you start creating it, and the ability to import projects from Scrivener. I am very excited about all of these new updates and features, as I'm sure you will be too. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. The first new feature we will be covering is duplicating scene cards. To do this, all we need to do is open up our project file. This project file is titled Demo Project. We go to the main plot and click on Scene Card 1. It'll open up and we'll now notice down at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, beside the Delete button, there is now a Duplicate button. When we click on the Duplicate button, you'll see a confirmation message on the bottom right that says, Woohoo! Scene Card Duplicated. And it is simple as that. Now when we close, the new scene card is duplicated directly beneath the original. From here, all we need to do is click on the scene card and drag it anywhere in the timeline that we would like to. Of course, if we've accidentally duplicated a scene card or decide that we no longer want the duplicated scene card, all we have to do is click on it again and click the delete button on the bottom left hand corner, which will bring up a confirmation, we confirm delete, and that scene card is no longer a part of the timeline. Another feature that comes with this new release is the ability to move scene cards from book to book. In order to do this, all we need to do is click on the scene card we would like to move. In this instance, we will use scene card 2. Scene card 2 has now opened, and at the top left-hand corner, beside the book title, which currently has Demo Project, we can click on the drop-down menu, click on Demo Project 2, and as soon as we click on this, it will take this scene card and move it into the other book. We'll click on it, and at the bottom right-hand corner, there is a confirmation, woohoo, scene card moved to Demo Project 2. Now, we're back on the main timeline. If we go back up to the top left-hand corner to the book title, Demo Project, and click on Demo Project 2 to look at the other book in the series, we now see Scene Card 2 under the Chapter 1 heading. We can then click on that and move it anywhere in the timeline that we want. The next feature we're going to look at is titling a project from the dashboard as soon as we begin creating it. For this, all we have to do is click on Dashboard in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, and then click Create Blank Project. This will automatically pop up a little dialog box asking us for the name of our project. We are going to call this project Three Little Pigs. Click Save, and it will open our new project for us. It has opened a new project that we can see is now titled Three Little Pigs in the upper left-hand corner. However, because it is a new project, this timeline view is empty. Let's fix that by using another new feature coming with this update, importing from Scrivener. To import from Scrivener, all we have to do is go to the top right-hand corner, click Dashboard, we click Import File, click on Scrivener, and it brings up a computer dialog box that allows us to look through our Scrivener files. For this, we will choose Three Little Pigs, click Select Folder, and it will open up and import the Three Little Pigs Scrivener file into our plotter file. As we can see, a new project has been created with the imported files from Scrivener. And there we have a brief overview of some of the features included in this newest update of Plotter. Of course, additional features and fixes have been included, which you can read more about in the release notes. So what is your favorite feature? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, happy plotting.